if an individual is stressed, uh, that's going to affect their choices in terms of their ability to make good choices. You've got to, you've got to have your basic needs met. Family life is a key part. You can have the other two, the work and the health, but then family life crises can also have an impact on your life. I think well-being has to do so much with your happiness with what you're doing. Trying to make sure that I'm maintaining, you know, equal attention to my health, my family, my work, so that I'm not spending more time in one particular area. So for me, it would be balancing. The Gallup Healthways Wellbeing Index was created to provide real-time insight into the health and well-being of our nation. Prior to this work, the ebb and flow of well-being and how it is intertwined with daily life, things like our happiness and anger, uh, stress, work environments, whether or not we have insurance coverage, neighborhood safety, it was all unknown. We know, for example, that in the West, healthy behaviors are quite strong, but access to basic needs is faltering due to economic pressures. We know that in the East, places like Boston, for example, access to basic needs is strong, but work environment in that region of the country seems to be causing issues in people's emotional health, things like stress and anger. There's not many communities in America that have over 50% manufacturing employment in their communities. The average is about 10. So this isn't Silicon Valley. This is not a community that has corporate headquarters on every street. This is not a big major metropolitan area. This is good working class citizens that have spent decades and decades and decades of making furniture and textiles and hosiery and apparel. This is reflective, I think, of those research reports and those figures that, that I think may give a good reason why those figures are at the bottom of that ranking. I think we're a mirror image of the whole country. The health and well-being of, of North Carolina right now, I think, is, is a very stressful situation with the job market and, 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 the, and the projections of what's coming ahead. When people lose their jobs, they lose their income, they lose their health care, they lose their purpose. And so it doesn't surprise me at all they will be suffering uh, physically, emotionally, and spiritually as a result of that. I guess I would consider Raleigh to be a, a very thriving area with a lot to offer. It's pretty shocking. Um, I knew our area wasn't great, but I wouldn't have thought it was that low. Um, I know a lot of people talk about nowadays with the economy and recession that people can't afford health care or they can't afford to eat correctly. What gives me hope is people educating each other on, on the do's and don'ts or the right and wrongs or what they should do to live healthier lifestyles. I think things are really improving in a lot of ways. Um, the restaurant that I work at, we really strive to provide uh, fresh food, fresh local uh, produce, and I've noticed that trend really starting to take uh, over in a lot of other restaurants. And I would like to see, you know, Every restaurant in town use local organic food whenever possible. Somehow we can work with people, get them to identify their goals, and help provide the support that they can reach them. What gives me hope are intentional actions that our community is taking to address the well-being of our community. We just have to make sure that our actions are intentional and focused on, on health as a priority for our community's future. If we don't, uh, we're going to have a generation that's not able to be entrepreneurial and be creative and be able to transition our economy like we're going to have to from here on out. Through these million people who have shared their lives with us, we have uncovered incredibly valuable insights for our country and its people. Now each community, big or small, can mark what's driving well-being for them and respond thoughtfully to those needs.